This episode brought to you by HelloFresh. Delicious pre-measured ingredients and simple chef-made recipes delivered to your doorstep every week. Also brought to you by Omen. Play together, watch together, chat together, all with Oasis by Omen. Alright, everyone ready for our watch party to begin? Hell yeah! What's on the docket tonight, Critic? Well, it's the Tom and Jerry movie! Hell no! I thought you liked us, Critic! That's a lie and you know it, but it's not the one you're thinking of with the little girl on the first meme to walk the internet. Does it matter? We know it's gonna suck. Hey, I thought you both were Tom and Jerry fans, like me! Yeah, the old cartoons, but everything they've done recently has been shit. Oh, you two act like they've had a long series of missteps, but this one's different. In this one, they meet... The Wizard of Oz? No. Willy Wonka? No. The Nutcracker? No. Sherlock Holmes? No. Robin Hood? No. Johnny Quest? No. The Wizard of Oz again? No. Chloe Grace Moretz? Yes! Now just sit back and enjoy the mayhem. This just looks like a regular Tom and Jerry cartoon. Yeah, it said it was the movie. Well, this is fine. I, I love the original Tom and Jerry cartoon. Yeah, you're right. Let's just sit back and enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> that is so Jerry. Oh, yeah, Ben. A few days in space. It'll be great. What the hell is this? It looks like all the worst parts from the Fantastic Four movie. So all of them. No, just the parts where they're trying to be funny. So all of them. Yes, all of them. A new day is done of the Fantastic Four. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's my seat. Sorry. No! Oh! Hey, which one did you pick? The blue ones with them little flowers? Why is this perfectly good Tom and Jerry cartoon being interrupted by these awful live action scenes? Congratulations, you got the analogy, Malcolm! Oh my god, this is so unexpected. Tamara, better luck next time. I'm afraid it's hell for you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. It's no question, we talk about Tom and Jerry a lot on this channel. From good to bad to, yeah, I smoked the whole brick, what are you gonna do about it? So there was definitely interest when a new film mixing live action and animation was announced. Critics tore it apart, but audiences seemed to like it fine. I'm obnoxiously in between. When it's actually Tom and Jerry, they get the spirit and comedy down pretty good. When it's anything else, um, you weren't there in the 90s, man. Let us have this! Directed by Tim Story, who helmed, ooh, uh, oh, hey, oh. I guess you could say this is one of the better of his movies, as he at least got the main characters down. But the rest, you went there, man! It's complicated to talk about, so let's not waste any more time. This is our favorite cat and mouse team in a movie that's good? Okay. This is Tom and Jerry. Before we start, let me remind you, there are good scenes in this movie. There are good scenes in this movie. Can I kick it to all the people who can quest like a tribe does? I swear on this fucking Bible, there are good scenes in this movie! Yep, I can sense millions of grown-ups just shouting, Nope! And clicking back on that OnlyFans window because you're a goddamn adult! On the one hand, Tom and Jerry has always utilized music that was popular at the time, so this isn't 100% out of place, but it is 80% out of place. Rock and roll to the beat of the funk fuzz. Yeah. Despite that lame opening, there's, yeah, a lot more lameness, but you'll quickly see a pattern. When a laugh depends on someone talking, the film's pretty awful, but when it depends on something visual, the film's pretty funny. Take this scene, for example, of Tom and Jerry trying to get set up in New York City. That's pretty good. That's goddamn hilarious. But now let's add in the music and dialogue that was originally there. View, resplendent, huh? It's got everything, but be careful, those seats are very flammable. I'm kidding, I'm not kidding. 
have sudden urge to punch anything that comes into view. Oh my god, why have you abandoned me? Ah! Can I kick it? Right now, Fife is a point. Ooh, John Legend. I can't wait to see his cameo. I think I just did. As you may put together, all the animals are animated, using CGI, but adding lines on the outside to make them look both two-dimensional and three-dimensional. It surprisingly works okay, especially considering the more solid and painful the slapstick is, the funnier it comes across. And give the script credit, there are a couple of lines that work. Thought I'd seen it all with a blind piano playing cat. He can see! He's a fraud! He's a regular cat playing the piano! That's already one more laugh that I got in any of this. The movie deserves a star simply on that default! They do the classic routine of Jerry pretending to see something, and honestly, with this scream, it works. <laughs> they chase each other, again resulting in some good slapstick, when suddenly... Hi, I'm here to kill your movie. <laughs> this is Kayla, played by Chloe Grace Moretz. And I think this actress has proven time and time again she's a great talent both dramatically and comedically. So I don't really blame her for... No, please, sir, please just, you, you, you can't do that. Whatever this performance is. Is this your resume? No, it's not. Wow, this is impressive. <sighs> My only... copy. Every word sounds like she was just handed a rewrite and they cut just before she said, Wait, that wasn't rehearsal? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you've had a lot of really cool jobs. Well, that was fun reading that line from my five-year-old niece. When do we start? We were rolling! She pretends to be a wedding organizer for a celebrity couple, but who gives a shit Tom and Jerry are doing actual funny stuff. I'm sorry, that's funny, man! Oh, look at that! Butch and Topsy and a bunch of Tom's other friends from the cartoons. This ought to be a good time. Are you trying to break into our hotel? <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Now I'm sure you know what I do to cats that laugh at me. Tom's friends kind of scare me. Oh, oh snap! It's my move! Hey, I'll see you again, Tom! Break yourself! Hey. Okay, I don't think there's any Tom and Jerry commandments, but if there were, number three would be no character should ever say break yourself. And the rest would all be broken by these films. Here's a rare moment. The live action character does something funny and the animated character does something stupid. And I assume that that's the aquatics manager? That's Goldie. She has no official position at the hotel. That's the... <clears throat> Poop emoji! Because we're the jokes that didn't make it into that SNL Gen Z sketch! Michael Pena is also a great comedic actor, but there's only so far you can make this dialogue work. She thought the fish was a heavy department. Really? A fish can't even walk. They can only think of poop, and that's it! She gets the job, and speaking of people who are only funny if they're in good hands... Who butchered these onions? Who? Oh, I don't know. Francois? We should leave. Wow, they're not even staying around to see if that bit works. They're just assuming it doesn't. Oh, uh, you're missing this watermark. There you go. It looks like the celebrity couple arrives, played by Pallavi Sharda and Colin Just. Sometimes they get a laugh. Terrence, you were right. This simulator's amazing. It really replicates how bad I am at golf. I found the... Oh, my God. Don't look it in the eyes, Joy. And then other times... Simmer down, boy. I'm sorry, he's a little animated. Okay, Joe. Come on. Come on, Joe. Come on. Come on. Come on, Joe. Come on. Come on, Joe. Come on. Come on, Joe. Come on. Okay, next scene. They notice Jerry causing trouble, but Kayla says she'll take it upon herself to catch him. If a picture of these mouse is tweeted up to Instabook Face or the Tiki Talk, we will be ruined. Fun fact, that wasn't to show he was out of touch. That's actually what the writers think they're called. Poop emoji! Jerry makes himself at home, and it really is creative, all the things he found to replicate a living room. And he also interrupts a pretty boring romance with Kayla and the bartender with some very impressive shade. Who's that? <sighs> the sign of a worthy competitor. Well, I didn't think I'd have to pull out the number from Mr. Jigsaw, but shots have been fired! Again, there are occasional moments of good writing, like when Tom sees Jerry living at large and the classic devil and angel appear arguing what to do. The devil asks why they're always fighting and suggests they let Tom make up his own mind. That is a good idea. <laughs> what a sucker. Now go make me proud, Tom. Hmm, why does that remind me of something? Tamara? She's still in hell? Oh, right! This is fun! I love my hell button! Tom 
and tries to get into the hotel, once again leading to some great screams, both old and new. <laughs> Sorry, referencing 89 Batman automatically gets you another star. And he finally makes his way in. Jerry gets away, but Kayla stumbles across Tom and realizes he can help catch him. Can't you catch a mouse? Isn't that in your DNA? Even for Tom and Jerry, that was unnervingly abstract. She brings up the idea to her boss, and it's like for every five unfunny lines, there's a pretty good one. Word gets out that we're refusing to hire a cat? Uh, Peter will be here before you can say discriminatory practices. Mm -hmm. Could he wear a hat? Like, there's one writer on staff saying, I want a job after this! I kind of like this joke, too, where it's almost like Tom accidentally sniffs the camera. Yeah, there we go. Don't look in the camera, say something, keep it going, keep it going. This reaction from the dog also makes me giggle. Okay, all right, you done? And sometimes the recreation of something we've seen in cartoons in the real world can be pretty funny to look at. We've seen plenty of mouse doors drawn before, but actually seeing it built in with a do not disturb sign, I can't help but chuckle. You do not get to beat up my enforcer! She alerts Tom, but is called to the bridal suite where the big couple is having a big problem. I lost my ring. The fiancé apparently lost the ring, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know Colin Joss could give a death stare. Uh, where's your ring? The giant one that I gave you for love? Oh, um, I... It's just in, I'm scary as fuck! Kayla makes up an excuse, and hey, that first poop joke was amazing. Encore! How many burritos did you eat? Oh! You know what that joke needs? A better joke. Tom constructs an elaborate trap, and yeah, it doesn't have much of a payoff, but again, just seeing something so cartoonishly complicated done in a more real-looking environment. Kinda fun. Tom thinks he sent him off, and Kayla gloats to the handsome bartender. Hey, she came, she saw, she exterminated. Just like how my dates go. Minus the first part. Hello, Fresh. Hello, Doug. I bet you want to tell me what an awesome company you are. Oh, you mean like with Hello Fresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on Hello Fresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Mm, talk about how convenient it is. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Hello Fresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store tips so you can enjoy cooking and getting dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes. <gasps> yes, 30 minutes, you like that. Enjoy a wide variety of easy, delicious options for all three meals a day, plus every snack and special treat in between within the HelloFresh market. You know you're a bad cook. You know you burn water. But with HelloFresh's easy-to-follow recipes, even you can make an easy, delicious meal. Would you like me to talk about the special offer? Yes, you would like that. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Critic12 and use the code Critic12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Critic12 and use the code Critic12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. Yes, HelloFresh is so delicious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Should I show the deal one more time? Yes, I should. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Critic12 today. Oh, you're amazing, HelloFresh. Douglas, what is this? Omen! You were seeing a HelloFresh sponsorship behind my back? I didn't think you two would ever be in the same room. How dare you? I am shocked. Just for that, I'm going to verbalize my sponsorship. That'll teach you. No, not that. Sick of all those randos sliding into your team chat whenever you and your friends are grouped up in your favorite games? Then you need your own private oasis. Your own paradise in the, less admitted, wasteland that can be online gaming. Oasis is a free and easy-to-use add-on for Omen Gaming Hub that creates a virtual room for you and up to 15 of your friends for private gaming and watch parties. But Oasis isn't just any virtual room. With low latency, 720p, 30fps screening sharing, and seamless audio quality, you can quit worrying about technical difficulties, stop arguing about who has the worst internet connection and get to playing. And because you can use voice or text chat while you share your screen or play along with someone else's, Oasis is the best way to hang out when we can't, you know, hang out. Mm -mm. Oh, I really hit my eye there, ow. Make sure you have Omen Gaming Hub installed, then get the Oasis add-on to build your own gaming paradise. Still getting over that eye thing. Play together, watch together, chat together, share together. All with Oasis by Omen. Download Oasis on the Omen Gaming Hub and try out the beta now. <gasps> wow, well, this is awkward. I swear he's gotten weirder since he lost the glasses.
Don't forget to check me out playing Kingdom Hearts Fridays from 6 to 9 on Twitch. We got content six days a week. Hope to see you there. plays the piano. Oh yeah, that was the thing. And he serenades another cat in the lobby. Admittedly, this is a lot closer to how a musical number in a Tom and Jerry cartoon should work. Apparently they deleted the part where Tom swallowed an auto-tune app. Little girl, little girl. <laughs> Jerry, of course, makes his way back and causes trouble once again, revealing, however, that he has the lost ring, which he's been using as a chandelier. What do you want, part, Jerry? Did you just call me the C-word? Kayla agrees to let them stay, but he hides when Terrence interrupts them. It's taken care of, right, Tom? It is so taken care of. Wow, you have cancer! Jerry gets loose, of course, resulting in a big chase, destroying the lobby. The solution is clear, punish Terrence. Terrence, I'm placing you on leave. What? Whoa, whoa, I was just joking. That's really what we're doing? The cat that she forced us to hire failed. The mouse is still in the hotel. Well, despite all those facts, you just don't look as good in a skirt, so out. Kayla is promoted. How's this hotel stayed standing so long? And she doesn't want to see her opportunity go up in smoke by our cat and mouse duo. Stop it! You guys gotta stop fighting. You interrupted a chainsaw fight as if I needed a reason to hate your character more. She makes it clear they can stay, but they have to figure out how to be friends. She plans a day for them to spend together because, yeah, along with planning a celebrity wedding, she totally has time for that. And they seem to get along while also taking part in some more slapstick. Hey kids, remember that cute animated fish earlier? Here's a graveyard of his family's corpses. Enjoy! Eh, they couldn't be more dead than this scene. Ben really loves you, Frida. He's a really good guy. It's just that when he goes, he goes big. I mean, we disagree, of course, about how big the wedding should be, but I guess... Thank you! Tom and Jerry get in trouble catching a ball, losing a game for the Yankees. <laughs> yeah, this script's 15 years old, resulting in them being arrested by animal control. Because that's how it works? I don't know. Hello. Jesus, Troopy's the Joker and Hannibal Lecter? Where are those straight-to-TV movies? I'd say this film had a sudden style change, but that would imply Tim's story has a style to change. Here's the deal. You're emotionally unavailable. That's why she sent me here to bring you back. It's like the sound effects from Batman took over directing and the only film they ever saw was Ang Lee's Hulk. There is literally no other moment like this in the movie. You know what your friends say? It is your fault. He convinces them that they hate each other again and plans to have them meet up the day of the wedding. FYI, I'm always ready. LOL. Oh. oh my god, are these leftover jokes from the Emoji movie? What are half these lines? Terrence sets them up at the wedding, and again, the shoulder bit's pretty funny. I got something to say. Okay, go ahead and speak me. As I was saying. Angels in the outfield was gonna end the same way. They end up fighting, but the chef does more damage to his work than they do, because somebody finally decided he should do something in this movie. And despite the slapstick usually being pretty good, it's surprisingly weak in this scene. Yeah, unless there's blood spewing out of that puff of smoke, this isn't grabbing me. Kayla admits she lied the whole time, and even the bride-to-be is about to flee. The wedding's off. I guess we were both in over our heads. Oh no! What about the little girl and Indiana Jones and the Buffet of Creepers? Yeah, nobody gives a shit here either! It's just another liar revealed story because, as I said, this script was clearly written decades ago. But to their credit, it doesn't last very long. In fact, it's literally a minute until people stop moping. I timed it. I think that shows how little emotional investment was actually in this film, but I think even the makers were like, this may fly in Christmas rom-com 2397, but goddammit, we have to show some mercy to the children. Maybe we just need to stop comparing ourselves to everybody and just work for it. It's actually comical how quickly things are patched up. The bartender boyfriend sums up all her lying, leading to the possible destruction of their hotel as... Come on, Kayla, everybody screws up. He probably looked at the Titanic like, eh, you know... Ice. 
They team up with Tom and Jerry again to create a makeshift wedding to try and get the couple that clearly needs a marriage counselor back together. This wedding can still happen today. How? I mean, everything's destroyed. It doesn't matter. It does if the relationship was already destroyed. I lost my ring. She convinces him to try again as Tom and Jerry try to stop the bride from going to the airport again with some pretty good physical humor. You have to get them before they make it to the bridge. Hello? Oh, this no talking thing is really getting old. Try it. They get her to the location. Did I use my shitty Christmas rom-com comparison yet? I did. Fuck it, I'll go for two. Holla date had more dignity! I know yesterday was a disaster. I promise you that most of the chaos was because of me. I really think we have the chance to make this right. Are they the ones getting married? Who's the couple again? I'm sorry that I didn't just shut up and, and listen to what you wanted. I'm hoping peer pressure in front of all these people will possibly win you back. I promise fewer surprises, and I promise more truth. Did he lie about anything? I think you're confusing your crappy ending cliches. She of course says yes, and I have to say for a smaller, simpler wedding, this is still pretty fucking mammoth. You have to give someone a chance to find out what they can do. You were right from the beginning. A resume is just a piece of paper. It's the lying, destructive asshole on the outside you've become. Thank you, Kayla. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thankfully, like the adults in the audience, I didn't pay attention to this movie at all, so of course you can work for me! Who the fuck brings a fishbowl to a wedding? Champagne. Cheers. I guess we're not an item? Or maybe we are? I don't know. You'll forget every line we said in a week. <sighs> Poop emoji! I don't have the energy. Let's wrap this up. The movie reminds us Tom wanted to be a piano player. It still goes nowhere, and the two of them end the film obviously fighting. What? Yeah, yeah. Um, the end is backwards. Oh, like you'd fix it even if you noticed. And that was the newer Tom and Jerry movie. Still probably the best one we got. I guess I can't say it works as a whole, but when Tom and Jerry are on screen, I was pretty satisfied. I think it depends on what you're willing to tolerate. I can take the lame live action stuff as long as the expressions, violence, and overall spirit of Tom and Jerry is there. While there's not a ton of new things they do with them, the 3D animation does give the violence a little bit more of a solid look, and their personalities still seem on point. It's almost like a reversal of the film Scoob, where there's a lot of clever writing and adult jokes, but many felt it lacked the basics like a mystery and original character setups that weren't there. This is the opposite. The core elements are all the same, but the comedic support around them is pretty weak. In a perfect world, I'd obviously wanted to work on both fronts, but as a diehard Tom and Jerry fan, I enjoyed it just enough. If you're looking for a good movie beginning to end, I definitely can't say it's that, but if you're a Tom and Jerry fanatic like I am, and you just like seeing them work off each other, there'll probably be enough for you here. Not a glowing review, but after what we've gotten in the past, a light dim is more than enough for me. I'm a nostalgia critic, I remit- ah! Welcome to hell. Oh, doesn't seem as bad as I thought. Yeah, I think it gets a bit of a bum rap. Alright everyone. Time for a Tim Story Movie Marathon! Ah! <laughs> hey Chaplin! Wanna chase a mouse? Why? He's a regular cat playing the piano! Hey, Doug Walker here doing the charity shout out, and this week we are doing the Alzheimer's Family Center. Uh, this center provides care solutions for people in various stages of memory loss. Uh, the facility offers therapeutic activities, health and care coordination, counseling, and social, uh, socialization for patients as well as much needed caregiver support and education for families. Their mission is to improve quality of life for families uh, challenged by Alzheimer's disease through services tailored to meet individual needs. The center offers free memory checkups throughout the community to raise awareness and improve understanding about the benefits of early detection and poor, uh, proper, <laughs> quite the opposite of poor, <laughs> uh, proper Alzheimer's disease treatment. Uh, it has a four-star rating on Charity Navigator, so you can check them out, see the good that they do. Uh, you know, that this is... 
uh, of, like I said, just a really phenomenal organization. You can look at their site and you can see all that they've accomplished and they were founded in 1980, so they've been around for a very, very long time. Definitely check them out. See if you can spread the word, donate. Uh, anything you can do would be extremely helpful. Thank you so much and take care.